A wedding vow is, is a sacred promise, a covenant that you declare publicly in front of those who you love and care about the most. And this declaration of love is what brought all of these beautiful people here together today. These are the hands of your partner, young and strong and full of love. Holding our hands as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you and comfort you in grief and uncertainty. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. And these are the hands that will give you strength. These are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. I don't know a Nick without a Bianca, and I don't know a Bianca without a Nick. And I think the bond between these two people is so strong. For those of you that don't know, Nick and Bianca went to the same elementary school, uh, the same middle school and the same high school together. And for 11 years, they never spoke or even interacted with one another. And during high school, they were in six classes and still for some reason didn't speak to each other. I mean, it's almost questionable. <laughs> um, but they ended up in the same prom group. And uh, can you guess who organized their prom group's festivities? Obviously, Bianca, Miss queen of organization. Um, so all it took was a wink and a nudge and Nick's phone number taken from a group chat. And just like that, here we all are today. in every space and how it makes any place feel like home. Once our dates fell through after prom, I decided to text him. We were signing our high school yearbooks and my friends helped me get the courage to send that first message. I was so nervous I typed, hey what's up? And screamed and threw my phone across the room. <laughs> Little did I know that was the first text I'd be sending to my husband. Bianca. The moment you first texted me at 11, 11 p.m. on June 1st, 2012. <laughs> my life has never been the same. You're my best friend, my rock, my everything. I remember one of the first times we hung out together, maybe a week after we first started talking. It was at LA Pride in 2012. We had spent the whole day together. Normally, being the introvert that I am, I would need to sit and recharge my social batteries, but with you it was different. With you, I only ever wanted more time. So that night, the second I got home, I tried to figure out an excuse to text you. Because I missed you the second we weren't together. With you, I didn't need to recharge. With you, I felt more alive and excited about the future than I ever had. It's been a little over 10 years since that first text. It's been the best 10 years I could have asked for. Whether it's an extravagant steak dinner, a nighttime trip to Disneyland, or sitting on the couch binging Outlander in Temptation Island. <laughs> you like it? It's beautiful. Oh my god. Every day is the best day when I get to spend it with you. Although the journey has definitely not been easy, I know it has made us stronger, and I know we'll be able to handle anything that's thrown at us. As some of you may or may not know, Bianca and Nick are both big Disney fans. Bianca loves anything Disney, but what I'm sure you don't know is how early this love for Disney started. It started when Bianca was nine months old and she became mesmerized by the movie Cinderella. Anything else we let her watch would only entertain her for a few minutes, but Cinderella was different. 
She would watch that movie over and over, sitting there motionless and wide-eyed. At first, we were a little concerned, but as first-time parents, that movie was heaven for us. <laughs> Bianca, from then on, loved anything princess-related, and now that I see my beautiful daughter in that dress, it all makes sense. For those who knew Nicholas when he was younger, I'm sure we all can agree on one thing. We didn't really know much about him. <laughs> when he told us that he had a girlfriend, we weren't superstitious, but we were a little stitious. <laughs> but then we met Bianca, and we quickly realized that he had met his soulmate. And for that, Bianca, we thank you. Anyways, Nicholas, my kind, dorky, and uncoordinated brother who has always had my back. You are the best older brother I could have ever wished for. And I am so grateful to have you in my life and you will always inspire me. love you through the difficult days and the amazing ones. I promise to be patient and always stand by your side. I promise to work with you as my partner in this relationship, knowing that we will build an amazing life together filled with many wonderful memories. I promise to be the best wife I can be and the best dog mom to our future dogs <laughs> and the best mom to our future kids as well. I love you so much and I'm so excited to see how our adventure continues. I love you forever and ever in car. I vow to do my best every day to make you feel like the most loved and special woman in the world. I also vow to ensure that our life is always a partnership, that you will always be my most trusted advisor and confidant, and that your opinion will always be the one that matters most. Finally, I vow to put you first. You're the most important person in my life, and our marriage will always be the most important part of my life. The life we've been building and will continue to build for the rest of our lives will always be number one. And that's because being with you, in short, is the greatest honor and privilege of my life. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Maybe it's time that I should find it. 